Hello you paranoid penguins and welcome to my first impressions of Sanity of Morris, a psychological horror game in which the light reveals the clues. That's about all I know about it but I was really intrigued. I do love me a good psychological horror game, not the terrible ones, I like the good ones. One thing I will say as well, for these first impressions, I'm actually playing the Sanity of Morris demo, and that is because I'm playing it before the game has been fully released. Okay, so things have completely changed compared to the full release. When you look at this video, now you know why. Anyways, new game. I'm intrigued, intrigued to see what will happen. Asks me to come over. He gave me a confusing voicemail that makes no sense at all. But if he was finally lost it, I don't want such a mess up. <sighs> I don't think anybody turned me on by now. Should have thought about that when you left me and mom, dad. We have voice acting. <gasps> Some traffic coming up the road. It sounded more like an Armstrong voicemail. Better not be sick or something. I mean, he's a bit of a bastard, but he's my dad. Uh, research facility. The tank used to work. <laughs> It'll be my turn coming up soon. I'll be there. We'll see what the fuss is about. This guy come from. You need to. Ah! Hey! What the, what the fuck? Are, are you are you trying to kill me? Shit! Shit! Oh shit! 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 Oh dear. Oh, not control the crouch. The target has crashed his car. We'll confirm the death of Morris's son. Situation control team out. Uh, what is about to happen? Why me? Who are they? Questions for later. Shit, I feel like a loss. Move your ass, John. That was a quick flame for that car. So we've got voice acting, which is good. We've also got QTEs, not so good. That's fine. Right, let's go this way. Can't jump, can crouch. That's toggle, okay. Oh, now we can run. God, my lungs are burning. <sighs> Nothing seems broken. God, where am I? Green Lake, in my father's house. <laughs> Seen. Who are those guys? Why would they do such a thing? Why? John, walk now. Analyze later. I'd like to think he says that to himself a lot. Here comes the van again. Uh, 
here, where can I go? Run! The order is in. Shoot the target. I repeat, shoot the target. Oh, no. I got mash W. Okay, fair enough. Shit. Hmm. that back on. I don't... Are those men wearing masks? Some military outfit I've never seen before? Oh god, I can't handle this. Even my vision's going all foggy. This is exactly why I didn't become a cop. I've got to avoid a panic. Staying in the light can only get worse. Good thing I brought that flashlight. Okay, so I was just going to say I don't like the idea of some of the quick time events like when for that one for example literally just chasing you and all you need to do is just mash forwards you could just you know move forwards also a lot of this is forced Right, okay, we can move again. So yeah, a lot of this is like all force that like, I have no control over like where I look or anything like that. Hopefully that's just for the start of this. Nice and red. Um, yeah, hopefully it's like literally just for the start of this game as it's letting you get used to it. Hi. Otherwise that's going to be really annoying how a lot of the game is actually kind of played out for you. Like now, I've got no control. Sort of information in chronological order. Oh shit. Voice man. Oh no, no, we're not listening to all that. This is Hank. No. Help. Phew, okay. Oh sorry, F is that is it left click? Left click. When was the last time Hank emptied this box? It's quite a few. So many that my flashlight is going through. Okay. That's a good point. Why is it doing that? Okay, we fixed it. We fixed it. Uh, let's see. Journals. Nothing there. There was a little little head. I don't know what that little head was. Oh, shit. Voice man. Help. Uh, not seeing any clues. Not seeing any clues. Let's get out. Get out. No more voicemail. I clicked it. That's enough. So it looks like Old Hanky Panky hasn't been here for a while. At least you would assume. He is still here. Does that mean he's around the house? Or he's stuck in the house. Dead. What happened here? I'm not getting in this way. Hank's old canoe. Well, at least I know he's not out fishing. A gnome. Really, Hank? Uh. How do I? I was left click. Is that one? Let me do it. Weird. It's locked. Maybe there's a key. No. Is this time to when you can like put this down? Now can I? I think I have to wait for his voice line, and then I can put stuff down. That's kind of annoying. All right, that's motion censored. So let's come on. Okay. Can you jump in? Whoa.
What a cheerful picture. Okay. So we need a key of some sort. There's music prompts, but I didn't see anything. Okay. What's that? It's a discus, I think. Discus cichlid? As a possessed monkey eating, I don't know what. A spider mouth. A skeleton cat. Okay. Just like what we all have. Can we get in this RV? I oh, walked past it. No. So still a key somewhere. Oh, maybe I need to check my journal. Kitchen door is locked. How do I get in? Hmm? Ah, key. Imagine if that was actually where the key was, just stuck in my journal. Hi! Oh, wait, what if... can I move oh. you up? Yes, okay, it's just really slow, right. Okay, thanks. Give it. Yeah, you really do have to wait for... The dialogue. Can't close the door. Hi, it's got an alien shirt. Right, there's that. I want to go in the fridge. Pickles. Oh God, what was that? Breathe, John. Breathe. Remember your training. Remember your training. When you pick up pickles, there's always a chance they'll turn into a knife. Looks like an eight or a nine potentially. I think it's going to be an eight. close to bridge. Not a monkey eating a banana. The grandfather clock disappeared on me. What's this? Oh, we got the discus cichlid. I keep trying to jump. Oh no. Authorised personnel only on the cuff. Okay, I like it. Oh, that changed. That's cool. A bathroom with no mirrors. I wonder why. Mission Rob. Didn't he mention something about fishing in the lake? Oh. I'm starting to wonder if he meant that literally. Okay, going down. Hi. You can carry on. Oh, it's a fox. Wait, I thought that was a... Oh, okay, yeah, they changed. They changed, that's why. Can we take the fuse? Yep, yeah, okay. I don't see why you would uh, write down that you've got a fuse instead of just picking it up. Yeah, this is real slow, by the way. I'm going to use the whole of my mouse pad multiple times over just to move that. I remember this clock from when we still lived together as a family 15 years ago. I swear I felt weird just now. Wait, he lived with Hank, okay. I thought Hank was just a random guy that he knew from work. These documents hold important information. Can we play with the radio? I don't think so. We just pick it up. That's it. We done picked it up. What about the gramophone? This Big, small, biggest, smallest. Code. 
thanks. So we've got the basement to check out. Right, that's where the fuse goes. Let's check everything else first. Some pain. Wait. Have power again. Okay. Freaking me out. Come on, John. Time to find some clues. Paint clues. Green on the bottom. Don't know why we picked that up, but that's fine. Now we got stairs. Look at that. That's cool. At least I don't remember them being there. Pretty sure they changed. Oh dear. Another one. Which one to go? Go on. You're a solo door. We'll take you on first. Mom always said Dad left us behind. Six. So we got a six and an eight. I'm pretty sure it was. Can I look at these boxes at this angle. Looks like there's a number. A and it, six. It was big, small, bigger, smallest. Pretty sure that was it. Big, small, bigger, smallest. Oh, so I see something spooky. Must have been here. Well, touch the map. Okay, fine. Touch that instead. Seven. Let's go number seven. Something about crop circles. Does he remember that stuff? Jeez. He loves a good crop circle, does Hank? Absolutely loves him. That's a big old chair. Give it some time and space. It's about aliens. Why would my dad keep junk like this in the house? This image is important. Oh, cool. Sorry, ignore me. Ignore me. I've been thinking about like, oh, it's Hank who's talking about. It's gonna be a little puzzle. Uh. Hank it was talking about but some kind of thing there couldn't quite tell yeah it is eight but it's it, we're at uh, our dad's house not Hank's house why would we be at Hank's house six seven eight that's it so far nine fifty nine ten is that a clue it's nearly ten Oh, didn't get to see his actual face. Another recorded tape. Not seeing any numbers out here. So you got this thing, which. Hmm. We're still missing a number somewhere. Six, seven, eight. And we've also got nine fifty-nine. Which isn't really gonna help us. We did get power, so I wonder if there's anything else that I could use that's now been turned on. in the fridge TV no no it's just a breathing TV cooking pro oh no it's a double front page 
front cover magazine. P22. That's why he was really shocked. It's not going to help. Is this going to turn into something spooky now then? Mm, no, not seen anything. I guess we check out the clues then on the recorded tapes. That's the pickles. Yeah, it's about all that's left, isn't it? Four digit code, six, seven, eight, see? We're still missing one. Uh huh. Something scary happened in the background, apparently. Uh, top secret. Four. Four, four, four. Okay. Seven, six, eight, four. Gotcha. Uh, this way? Oh, what? I have to find it. I have to find the number four. But it's 784. Hmm. What if we listen to... This these? is Hank Morris, December 2. You'll never guess what I just found. Okay, so we need to find the number four somewhere. Huh. Oh yeah, that just turned into the uh, the clown, didn't it? That's all that was. There was... It's just that. This? No, no. Odd, because you can't pick up the boxes, even though you'd think... You know, they'd be of something of note. Checking behind the door, just in case. Uh, that's the seven. Cabinet won't open. A weirdly shaped lock. Okay. So we need a weird circle thing with prongs. I wonder if any of these uh, paintings move. No. So we're looking for the number four, right? Based on the, uh, what do you call it? Still can't use the gramophone, sadly. Firewood. No. No. Grass. Hmm? Oh, number four banana. Nope. Turns out it's just a one banana. This image is important. Image? Was it a film? Okay. So lots of noises, but not really anything scary going on. Uh, hmm. You a four canoe? No. Nope. Okay, I'm a bit at a loss if I'm honest. Can we just open the door now? No. It's 
like a tiny little handle of some sort that we're missing. Nothing in those boxes. Cabinet won't open. Cabinet won't open. What a weirdly shaped lock. No. Not worried about the toothpaste and the toothbrush. Mm. Huh. Anything with a computer? Honestly, just don't know. I'm just really, really confused. I don't know what what I'm missing. Is something else in the basement? It's like the only place it can be, right? Was there a four on this that I didn't see? Oh my no, it's just an eyeball. I've got to keep saying, John. I've got to keep saying. Oh wait, it had a little save thing on the bottom right. John's room hall. Tools. Do I need to get all the scares? Can I pick that up again? Okay, I can, so that's not it. I use that term loosely, by the way, all the scares. Yeah, I really don't know. It's 7684 is the code. But it's just not let me do it because I need to find the four. But I can't find the four. know guys and girls I don't know more 
smoke. Different coloured smoke this time. Uh, I'm going to check outside. I'll tell you what, while I'm checking outside, I'll just, uh, ah, um, I'll just talk about this game. Because it all seems fine. Overall, yeah, it seemed alright. I mean, I've played it a lot, lot worse. Um, I didn't like the four sections. I'm not a fan of QTEs. Wasn't a fan of uh, quick time events when they were first the thing. But, yeah, it all seemed like a good idea. A little bit spooky. Could be aliens. Could all just be a delusion. You know, because it's they're all wearing masks, which means I'm inhaling some kind of gas, making me crazy or something like that. Yet your gameplay seemed fine. I don't like the fact that when you pick up items, you're, like, forced to listen to the dialogue. Before you can do anything else. Uh, can climb up here? Nope. Nope, can't climb. Also, don't like the just random sounds because it doesn't look like anything scary in quotation marks is actually happening. It's just like sounds going off. So it would be nice if things actually happened or just give me no weird sound sound cues. It's a psychological horror, so you don't really need to rely on sound cues. You don't need to rely on jump scares. That's the whole idea of the psychological part. Is it's more of like, wait, did I see that or didn't I see that? Not just, here's loud noises, get scared. But... Yeah. <laughs> just shame. I, I would have liked to at least see more, but I just can't. I can't find what you want me to find, game. The code is 7684. But, even though I know the code, because it told me the code, I can't find the 4 and you're not letting me progress. And I don't know what else I can do, because I can't progress. Even though I know what to do. I know the code to be able to progress. So, I mean, that sucks. But yeah. That's a shame. Like, I hope if you, if you guys can find the four and uh, progress, then I think, yeah, give this game a try. It's worth, like, a look, definitely. But I can't find the four. So I can't really recommend it when, like, I'm stuck. And I know exactly what to do, yet I'm still stuck and can't progress the game. So it's very, uh, it's very frustrating, I think, on all our parts. But, uh, yeah, sadly, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.